guys, so I wanted to come on here real quick and talk about something that I think we all struggle with in life, and that is going to be about how much water we drink in a day. So I personally know I consume way less water than I should. I know my body needs the hydration and sometimes I just neglect it. So with that being said, let me take a sip. Wanted to bring you some quick tips on how you can drink more water and how by drinking water, your overall health is just going to increase tremendously. Um, I'm sure you're familiar that water and hydration in general is just really good for flushing out your organs, really maintaining that um, healthy body temperature and allows your organs to do their proper roles in your body. So I know that I can really, really tell when my body is lacking in the water department and I just feel very sluggish, I get a headache, and I can just feel myself being dried up. So. I decided it's time to change that. I really wanna focus on including more water into my everyday diet. And these are some of the tips I've been focusing in my routine to ensure that I allow that to happen. The first step that you should do to ensure that you're properly getting that right amount of water is to calculate how much water you actually need. So I went on camelback.com and took this quick little survey. It just asked you, you know, your age, your height, your weight, how active you are in your everyday life, and um, even even the color of your pee and it told me how much water I should be drinking. The second tip I have for you is if you are active in your everyday routine, which I'm really hoping all of my viewers are, I just want everyone to be living a healthy, both mentally and physically um, lifestyle. So I do work out, I would say for the most part, five times a week, sometimes six, sometimes four, but generally five. Now. I prefer to do my workouts in the morning, I'm going to take a sip right now because I feel myself getting parched. Let's just do that. Every time you're thirsty and you're questioning whether to pick up your water bottle, pick it up. Take a sip. It's not going to hurt. But I do work out every day, like I said, during the week, and I prefer to work out in the morning. I just feel like my body is so much more hydrated because it is so easy for me to bang out a water bottle, you know, by 10 o'clock. Now you've set your goal. You know how much water you have to drink. You're also working out, so you're incorporating that water back into your body. And the whole point of that is to also use a large water bottle. So because I need to be drinking a liter per hour, I already know that this is the size that I should be digesting per hour. I feel like using a big water bottle in general makes you not want to carry it. You find that it's heavy and just kind of bulky. And so once you've downed the water bottle, now it's lighter in your hand and you don't have to worry about it. But make sure that once you have finished the water bottle you refill it i would definitely recommend using refillable water bottles um i know they say you're not supposed to reuse your plastic ones but i do time or two you know um when i'm hanging out at home i bought this yesterday and now i'm going to refill it till i feel like it needs to be trashed but by trash i mean recycled don't don't neglect your recycling, but definitely use a big water bottle and put cold water in it. I use a Brita filter, it's right now in my fridge, because once I'm done with this, I'm gonna have cold water to put back in. So I know infused waters are the biggest craze, but to be honest, I find it kind of hassling to have to cut up the lemon or the lime or whatever fruit I'm putting in my water. Um, but my roommate Carly started drinking this 100% cranberry juice. This is from Trader Joe's, and if you look in the back, the ingredients is literally juice from cranberries. So this is not from concentrate, there's no preservatives, there's no chemicals, no artificial colors, and this gives me that juice feeling without actually providing sugars. Now obviously there's sugar in here because it's natural sugar from the cranberries, but it's only 10 grams per eight fluid ounce. And to be honest, I maybe put two tablespoons or you know a tablespoon in it. I just do a dash to kind of give it a little oomph. Because of that, I find that it's so much easier to down some water. Um, it kind of makes it break up the amount of water that I'm drinking and instead of feeling like I'm drinking just plain old water, I feel like I'm getting some sort of dessert in it. So definitely recommend trying this, but if you are gonna incorporate juices instead of fresh squeezed juice, pay attention to that ingredient list because ingredients are everything and the only ingredient you want in the juice that you're adding is the fruit itself. So my last tip I think pertains to most people out there because I know I live in a society that is ran by caffeine. I know I am a caffeine, I wouldn't say addict, but I definitely enjoy my caffeine and notice when I don't get it. I would recommend for every non-water beverage, you consume a glass of water. So if you're having a cup of coffee, if you have a soda, which I don't recommend you do, 
do. Um, if you have a cup of juice, whatever it may be, make sure you incorporate a cup of water after um, or before. Just make sure you're making up for that juice that you had, the coffee that you had, the soda that you had, make sure you're replacing it by a cup of water. Those are just a couple quick tips I hope you guys incorporate into your everyday life. Please leave a comment down below if you have anything that I should try out to and drink more water because I'm trying here, but the struggle is real. It is hard to make sure you constantly pick up this water bottle. Um, if you don't find water bottles work for you, just get a cup with a straw and hold it with you. Like this is where we live. Have it in your hand, take a sip every oh so often. Or a gulp, that was more like a gulp. But make sure you're getting in your water. Um, you're, it's good for your hair, it's good for your nails, it's good for your skin, it's good for your organs, it's good for your everyday life, your everyday mental health. So let's drink that water, let's make it a challenge. I'm gonna try and see if I could drink. Um, I think an hour, a liter per hour is <laughs> crazy. I don't think I'd ever leave the bathroom, but I'm gonna definitely try and drink three of these a day. So let me know if you're gonna join this water challenge with me and if you do, let me know how much water you're drinking. Let's try and do this for two weeks. So I'm gonna start today and two weeks from now, I will give you guys an update and let you know how it's been going for me and fingers crossed it went well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next one, I'll see you guys then. Bye. Mwah.